Hello, and welcome to the New Calculus channel. My name is Brandon R. In today's video, I'll be discussing magnitude, ratio, and proportion. So let's begin. A magnitude is the idea of size, dimension, or extent. We ask questions such as how far, how heavy, etc. Next, I'll cover the concept of ratio. A ratio is literally a comparison of magnitudes. This is required in order to distinguish the antecedent magnitude from other magnitudes. After we introduce a consequent, we can then tell something about the red distance, antecedent, with respect to the blue distance, consequent. For example, using a compass, we can compare and reach a conclusion about the size of the antecedent. So drawing the line here tells one nothing about size until it's compared to another line in order to gain perspective. Thus, and if we compare these two line segments here with the colon, tells us that the comparison line or consequent which appears after the colon is known, then one has a frame of reference for understanding something about the antecedent which appears before the colon, that is, the antecedent is shorter. In the diagram, the compass tells us the difference, green, between the antecedent, red, and the consequent, blue. Now we know that the red distance is shorter than the blue distance because we compared, while using via qualitative measure, the two. By convention, the antecedent magnitude is the primary magnitude of concern in any ratio, whereas the consequent magnitude is auxiliary. This kind of comparison is purely qualitative in terms of measure and is not necessarily accurate or sufficient. The ancient Greeks could have chosen the other way around and it wouldn't have made any difference. That is, they could have had the consequent appear before the colon and then, the ante and then after the antecedent. Or, but remember that the accepted way is that for a ratio they compare the, um, the antecedent to the consequent. The Greeks chose line segments because these were the easiest to compare. Next, I'll cover the concept of proportion. A proportion is best described by a comparison of two ratios of magnitudes. Whilst a proportion exists between the aliquot parts of each ratio, one cannot tell much about the proportion until it is compared to a third ratio. The third ratio might consist of the aliquot parts sum or difference. If not, then at the very minimum three magnitudes are required to gain an understanding of the proportion. For example, what is the relationship between ratios A and B? Give you a moment to think about that. Here's the answer. Impossible to tell unless consequences are the same or we know the relationship of the antecedents to a common third magnitude. Book 5 definition 8 states, and a proportion in three magnitudes is the minimum. Any ratio by itself may be insufficient to arrive at a measure. For example, a ratio can consist of equal aliquot parts, magnitudes, and unless these are compared with another magnitude, a precise understanding of proportion is not possible. Hence, three magnitudes in proportion are the minimum required. The measure of a ratio, p to q, is given by counting, in terms of special fractions called natural numbers, the number of equal parts in the antecedent and consequent respectively. Natural numbers are fractions whose numerator is comprised of the abstract unit and whose denominator is the abstract unit. Antecedents and consequents are the precursors of numerator and denominator respectively. Therefore, from a ratio of two ratios, we can determine whether the ratios are equal, in proportion, or both. Equal implies in proportion, but in proportion does not imply equal. For example, 
if you compare these two ratios here, they're in proportion, but they are not equal because the corresponding antecedent and consequent parts are not equal. If x to y is a ratio and k is some mag antecedent magnitude, then the ratio k to m is proportional to x to y. If and only if k is in proportion to x and m is in proportion to y. On the other hand, if the ratios of x to y and k to m are equal, if and only if x is equal to k and y is equal to m. So these ratios here are both um, equal and in proportion. And if I scale this up where these segments are twice as long as these two, it's still in proportion. In algebra, the measure of these ratios is the same, and one can say that 2 quarters is equal to 1 half. In geometry, an easy way to determine if two ratios are proportional or not is to draw their aliquot parts on an angle. Then join the endpoints, and if the lines resulting are parallel, then the ratios are in proportion. And so I'm going to show a demonstration here. Right, so in, in this example, the ratios are both in proportion and they're equal. And the last demonstration I'll show is if the ratios are only in proportion. And there you go. And here's an example where the ratios are only in proportion. This concludes the video. In the next video, I'll be discussing the topic of arithmetic and the abstract unit. My name is Brennan R, and this is New Calculus Channel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.